What's up guys? Uh, if you've been following this channel, you know that I've been a long-standing Fujifilm user from the X-T3 to the X-T4 to the X-H2S and I feel like that era is kind of shifting a little bit because I'm finding myself more and more drawn to this, which I'm shooting on, the Lumix S5 II. I've just been picking it up and loving every single thing that I shoot with it. They make it so easy. I feel like I've found kind of the perfect just travel vlogging setup. S5 II, the DJI Action 3, and the DJI Air 3. I can fit them all in my camera bag, and anywhere I go, I can have some incredible stellar shots. So I'm just kind of playing with those today, exploring with those today. I was surfing a little bit this morning with the Action 3. I've been kind of just getting some scenery shots with the S5 II and with the drone. So today I just kind of wanted to walk through why I feel like this is such a good travel combo for pretty much anything that you would need to do. I'll switch over to the action camera so you can see kind of the rig that I have set up with the Lumix. But right now I've got the, the kit lens, which is the 20 to 60. Um, got a little ND filter on there. I've got the Sennheiser MKE 400 microphone, and that's an incredible mic. And then I just have like a small rig cage and a small rig top handle. So today I am out in Muskegon, Michigan, and um, I'm filming an event, Great Lakes Surfing Festival. That's why I have the Lumix with me. Uh, I got here really early, way before it starts, just so I can get some different shots. I've been loving just stripping back my setups. You know, when I'm doing documentary work, I have big kind of cinema rigs that are built out. Um, but for all my just basic client work and for YouTube and stuff, just a top handle, a mic, I feel like this is the way to go. It's just really easy to roll around with this. I got the kit lens, I've got the 35 millimeter as well. And uh, one thing that's really cool is it all, this, the action camera and the drone, it all fits really, really nicely into just a simple camera bag. We've got the Lumix. Typically I'm keeping either the kit lens on it or this uh, 35 millimeter. Drone controller, drone, Sennheiser MKE 400, and then, SD cards, vintage, 135 millimeter. This is great for when I just need something long range, really quick. I've got the uh, DJI microphone system. So one thing that's really cool about the DJI Osmo Action 3 is when you pop it out of this cage, is a very, very magnetic bottom to the body of the camera, which means that if I want to, I can magnetize it to things. for just like quick, easy shots that you don't have to think about. Also, the internal microphones on this are not bad. That's what I'm using right now. I know the Action 4 is out, uh, but I just got the Action 3, so I'm gonna hold off before I upgrade to that. I've been really happy with the Action 3. Super easy, I love how wide it is. I love how easy it is. You can just mount magnetically. You can switch to mounting vertically with the case on. Just really, really easy, reliable, camera and that's the thing that's impressed me most about the DJI action cameras over the GoPro stuff is for what I do I'm doing cold water surfing with it you know I live in Michigan so there's snow we have extreme hots we have extreme colds DJI stuff just is reliable and it works on top of that the color profile 
works really, really well. The d -Cine like profile pairs really, really nicely with uh, either V-Log or the Lumix flat profile. I can pretty much get the same grades. seen so far has been shot on the kit lens, the 20 to 60, and I've been shooting in the flat picture profile. Now I've switched over to the 35mm f1.8 and I'm shooting in V-Log. This is about the worst scenario that you could put this camera through. There's clouds right now, but the harsh daylight comes in and out, and it's also super windy. So how's the Sennheiser doing picking me up from way over there? I've got this little miniature tripod made by Small Rig. Really, really easy to uh, kind of maneuver and navigate and just gives me a lot of versatility wherever I want to put the camera. So this is my uh, vlog test because uh, people like to see people walking around telling people what they're doing. I don't ever do this, you know, with a big camera, but you know, this is an option. If you uh, want to vlog and hurt your arm the whole time because you're carrying a uh, giant camera with a cage on it. I'm shooting everything in 6K24, unless it's slow motion, and then in the Lumix, you know, get, to get 60 frames a second, you have to dip down to 4K, and the 4K60 is great. One thing that is a little annoying is when you get into 6K, it goes from a 422 codec to a 420 codec. It stays 10-bit, but drops down to 420. I mean, it is 6K, so it does look pretty great.
So I'm driving across the whole state of Michigan today. I was just on the West Coast for the Surf Festival. Now I'm gonna drive all the way to the East Coast of Michigan for a film festival tonight that um, one of my short films uh, was accepted to. So they're gonna screen it tonight. And um, I'm meeting the subject of the film out there. We're both gonna attend the screening and just be there for maybe a Q&A or something like that. Figured I would uh, do a little talking in the car with this bad boy. I don't know, I, I always feel like dynamic range is really hard in a vehicle on a sunny day. The outside is super bright compared to the inside of the car. I have been really impressed with the dynamic range of the Lumix. It has a lot of flexibility. Just everything feels like it's uh, properly exposed. Like when you get it properly exposed, it feels like the shadows are just enough and the highlights are down just enough too where it, I don't know, it's a really good balance. So yeah. Um, coast to coast, west coast to east coast, here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 